Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card. And this is Scorpio energy. So this is a card of uh, clarity. It's like you're, you're seeing something clearly or you're getting answers about something. Uh, somebody could be giving you the truth coming towards you. With this energy, um, creating an opportunity for a transformation in love or your love life, the way you view love, relationships could be transforming with this energy. It can also be a rebirth, like someone could be coming back around wanting a second chance with this energy. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Five of Cups, Water Energy, the Two of Cups, Water Energy, and the Tower, Mars Energy. Yeah, we have Past Energy with the Five of Cups. It looks like there's someone who's in deep regret. Um, this is someone who is looking back and remembering how much love they had with you um they're seeing you as someone who they had their two of cups with but it looks like they lost that or you know there's this feeling of something didn't work out they feel very disappointed you could even possibly be feeling depressed over this but there's this mourning grieving kind of energy with the five of cups and with the judgment card this person is wanting some sort of a, an, a second chance um, they they do see you as someone who has their hearts. In fact, they could even view you as like a soulmate with this Two of Cups. But with the Tower, it looks like things with this person did end. Something about the connection wasn't solid um, in the sense that the foundation wasn't strong enough to survive some sort of a Tower moment. That could have been circumstances not allowing for things to move forward, or it could have been that something came up, you know, something that was ignored from the beginning. Um, it can also be just, you know, someone who feels like they were blindsided by the ending of this connection and um, they're still very stuck on it. Okay, so let's clarify these cards for us. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So it could be that this connection failed or couldn't get off the ground because there was too many outside influences. There could have also been competition or even just incompatibilities because this can be like conflict, chaos, drama. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Knight of, the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, and the six of pentacles earth energy it looks like someone wants to make things right with you someone is wanting to um get this relationship back you know they want to be back with you um with the chariot they may even try to force things because you have the chariot and the, the knights of swords there's this determined energy this pushy energy aggressive energy um this person really wants this it's almost like they, they have a feeling of desperation on their side um they they, they really are in pain because they don't have this connection anymore they're viewing this as almost like they're seeing you as the one that got away and it's really breaking their heart and they feel like they they need to do something here yeah. you know with the chariot there's this feeling of overcoming mountains fighting for this um you know even if there is someone else in the picture because with that five of ones it could be competition but this person is still going to persist um with the six of pentacles they do feel like you owe them another chance or that they owe you um they need they need to make something up to you you could also be getting an apology from them but they do want to reconnect with you 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. Okay, we have communication is key new moon in gemini so they they want to communicate they want to clear the air they have a lot they want to say to you but the knight of swords is like someone who it's like the floodgates have been opened they have a lot they will express okay so i'm going to plot another card for you Okay, we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so you may be kind of over this ex you know if this is someone from your past but it's like they're coming back up to kind of show you something that you previously were blind to in some way because with the judgment card it's like almost like you're going to have a revelation of some sort it's like this person coming back may show you how much you've changed um, it may also show you how much your love life, your view towards relationships, there's this transformative energy here. So there could be an opportunity here to clear your energy and to get some sort of closure um, or to transform the connection altogether. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Taurus. Okay, we have devotion and dreams fulfilled the future belongs to the to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams okay so yeah it looks like you're gonna have to take control here because it looks like someone is coming in here and they're thinking a lot about what they want um but there is this need to really communicate here communicate clearly with someone um because there's this feeling of with the judgment card you're gonna have to make a judgment call in this situation it's like the ball is going to be in your court Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, we have Surrender Fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.